or disc golf videos if you haven't already. We're at the 2017 United States Women's Disc Golf Championships in Johnson City, Tennessee. We're actually at Harmon Hills. We're going to be starting out on hole number one. It's a 368 foot par three. First on the tee is Priority Sponsor Katrina Allen. This is a tight fairway. As you can see, there's a small gap right there. Uh, these ladies are going to want to be hitting off the tee. Uh, it's not that long of a hole, but you definitely want to hit that gap. And it looks like Katrina has sent hers to the left side of the fairway, uh, but she also has a pup for a birdie. Katrina shot left her in the middle of the fairway with just a little soft little hyzer shot up and down, and she should be walking. And Katrina's going to come right behind Lisa and tap hers in for a par as well. We've got all threes on that one. Moving on to hole number two, it's a 442 foot par four. This one's a little hard to film off the tee, so I had to stand up on these rocks on the side and rely on some catch cam footage from Ben Howard, as you can see here. Huge thank you to Ben. Yet, uh, we wanted to get this card out, it being the lead card, as soon as we could, so. I really crunched on editing the video and getting it out as soon as I could around the time when USWDGC was happening. So this footage has actually been out but uh, without commentary. So we wanted to go back and put commentary on this round uh, as we have the other rounds. Really happy to see her get that one after getting caught up early on this hole. Katrina looking for a birdie as well. Mm, mm, just mm. off the chain. And as she taps in here. There's seven down now. Katrina's still at ten. Moving on down the first little bowl there. Katrina also going to the back end. Very good shot. She's oh, yeah. made it to the top of the second hill, so there's a lot of roll away potential. You saw a glimpse of Katrina's uh, team partner there, Will Schustrick. He was walking around the whole time we were doing some live coverage, so you may have seen that as well. And Katrina had a. Katrina with an absolutely great birdie. That's an ounce and a bogey on that hole. Moving on to hole number four. It's 482 feet. This is a tunnel shot off the tee. You want to get to the top of that hill as you can see on the other side. And just kind of a placement shot. These ladies are going to be trying to lay it up pretty much right there where Katrina <laughs> has done. Lisa, looks like she had a tree in her way for the putt there, but we'll see what she can do when we get up there. Katrina had a great oh. amount of distance as well. Almost put that one in. That was yeah. a great party. Let's see if Katrina can get hers. And she does. Outstanding birdie. But I can promise you that's, <laughs> that's a great birdie right there. Moving on to one of the shortest, if not the shortest hole on the course. 295 foot hole number five. Uh, you want to go straight down that little fairway there and hopefully get it to turn over to the right. Katrina's going with a turnover shot as you can see, but a sidearm would also be a good play for a right-hander. Looks like Katrina was just trying to get a placement shot, not trying to get too real shot there. Katrina looking at this for a birdie two. but not Katrina taps in one bogey unfortunately on that hole it's not very common to see uh, not a single birdie on that short hole that's definitely one of these ladies want to get moving on to the beast of the course hole number six <laughs> 747 feet it's a par five downhill and they're going to hang it out wide right, try and get it to go left. Katrina landed right there near the amateur tee. Great shot from Lisa there. 
see what Katrina can do. Looks like she's put quite a bit of distance. She actually ended up on the left side of hole seven's fairway, kind of off to the in the woods. Cat looking for that one to go right <laughs> too far to the right in the woods. Katrina opting to take a knee here, try and get level with the basket. Looks like she was happy to just lay that one up. Katrina tapping hers in and one six on that hole. Definitely good to walk away with a five on that hole. I'd say that feels really good. Moving on to hole number seven, 439 feet. This one plays straight out through that fairway and off to the right. So Katrina's looking for some turnover and gets a wow. plenty of it. <laughs> so she had one throw there and then she's gonna have another one in a moment. That was Katrina there, national FBO player along with these other ladies and uh, she played it like a true professional. Katrina looking at this to come back after that unfortunate roll. Wow. And she definitely cans that putt. That is a great putt right there. Moving on to hole number eight. It's a par four. It's only 339 feet, so not one of the longest holes, but definitely one of the more interesting fairways. It's shaped pretty much like a C, so it's a very interesting fairway. Katrina going with the backhand. Oh, unfortunately hits a tree and gets caught up early. Has made quite, took a, quite a bit off of this fairway. Outstanding drive to make it down through there. I remember watching this hole and seeing like some of the top female professionals struggle with this hole and it just made me <laughs> think about how hard this hole has to be. Absolutely, but unfortunately it hit something and didn't get to make its way up the fairway. So Katrina a little bit further out than I thought she was, but no problem for her to get. Good shot from Lisa, but she's got a bit of a putt there. Hopefully she can get that. Katrina with a putt. Perkins, who is doing caddy work for Paige Pierce. A lot of that is an outstanding yeah. drive there. Katrina looking to go with the same sort of line. Just a huge crush to take off as much of this fairway as you can. These ladies are doing so nicely. She caught an edge and rolled over to the right side of the fairway. Katrina's actually in a lot better spot than I thought. That's Katrina also looking for a birdie. A little bit of an uphill putt here. No problems for her. Now on hole number 10, it's a 601 foot par four. I was like freaking out over that shot. Absolutely great shot. Next on the tee, we've got Prodigy sponsor Katrina Allen going with a similar top shot. That big, huge Anheuser shot over the top. Her stalled out a little bit earlier than Paige's. Uh, she's down in, hopefully, a great shot from Lisa right there. Katrina's got a bit of work to do if she's down at the bottom of the hill. Anytime you're throwing up hills, everybody knows it makes the distance seem a lot longer. She's put down a roller, and as you can see, it rolled and rolled for days, and she's actually <laughs> went past the pin. Not a small little hole right there in those trees, but she definitely made that work. You can see Katrina here as she ended up a little bit past, and she's thrown back towards the pin. And Katrina going to tap this one in for a four, which there's absolutely no shame in a four on this hole. 
any time I play this course, I'm definitely happy to walk away with a four on this hole. Hmm. Moving on to hole number 11, one of the shorter holes on the course. It's as fade as she was wanting, but she should probably have a putt from there. Basket is on a hill, so she's probably not going to be too aggressive on that. Katrina looking for some turnover, and she will be a bonus birdie because of the potential for roll away. A lot of ladies are just going to lay this one up, uh, so that's a definitely a great two to walk away with. Any two on Harmon Hills is a great two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and another great birdie from Katrina right there. Being very aggressive going for that putt. Uh, when you see that Katrina now stretched to 14 down. Moving on to hole number 12. It's a 493 foot par 4. This is actually one of my favorite holes on the course. You can put a lot of distance out on it. And uh, you still have to try and negotiate those trees off into the fairway there. You want to get across right there, Katrina's disc going over a little bit of a, they got some roll away from the basket. Lots of roll. Mm-hmm. Hated to see that. That was a perfectly executed shot. Unfortunate to see that roll. Katrina going to the soft high. Very good run though. Yeah, very good. Katrina looking to get her birdie three. Hopefully she can convert. Mm. Oh. Jessica tapping in with a four. Katrina doing the same. This pair sitting at 10 down and Katrina at 14 down, so Paige is definitely making this whole play is pretty much like a backward C. Such an interesting fairway. Let's see what Katrina can do. Mm. Mm. She gets caught up early. A good shot from Paige, but unfortunately she got caught up early again. Let's see if Katrina can get out of the thick. She does. She's in the fairway, but if she would have got around that last little bulk of trees there, she would have been making her way up uh, towards the putting green. Katrina with a forehand roller as well, and that's exactly what you want to do. She is this entire weekend. Katrina's got this uh, putt for a par after getting knocked down twice and a great forehand roller. Oh. Almost converts, but gets some roll back down the hill. The drives we had on that yeah. with uh, Valerie Jenkins Sarah and Holcomb. Sarah Holcomb. Yeah. Uh, just this whole, uh, in that video, they made it look so easy. And this, this whole, or this video, to play the two rounds. <laughs> Moving on to hole number 14, three cents. You want to land uh, as close to that hill as you can, or hopefully up on the other side, or not on the other side, but working your way up the hill. Katrina going with the backhand also. And she's put a very good drive out there. She's laying at the bottom of the hill. It's a great upshot there, just to lay it right beside the basket. Thankfully, she didn't get any more rolls. Katrina actually looking at a two here. This would be an outstanding two. Oh. Oh, unfortunately, wasn't it? Now, and Paige is at nine down. Moving on to hole number 15, but she's on the left side. It's going to be probably a lot of awkward footing from that side. Let's see what Katrina can do with the backhand. Hmm. Really great shot right there. Forehand is going to be a common play here on this. Uh, you, They're trying to just keep their footing as it is, so they're just going with the forehand and not trying to get any sort of run up. Under the top near the punting green. Yeah, I kind of lost track of that, sorry. Katrina's still got a little bit of work to do. Unfortunately, hit a tree. 
on her approach. Hmm. Ask it. Katrina has a long pup for, for her par four. Hopefully she can convert with this. Oh, oh almost from down there at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. Of course, at 211 feet, but it is no walk in the park right yes, there. That's very unfortunate. The sides of the fairways on the right and left are very thick. Uh, you get in those sides and pretty much some sort of tomahawk or forehand roller or some kind of crazy shot, you're not gonna have any type of normal backhand shot. As you can see, Katrina ended up on the left side and she's having to go with a flick, an outstanding flick from nice. where she was. That to go. Oh man. Mm. He helped Tim Barr out with this tournament and they did such a great job with this tournament. Okay. Moving on to hole number 17, 573 foot pole. That is an absolutely beautiful drive right there. Seeing this on video doesn't really do this hole justice. I know you hear that a lot in disc golf coverage, but I can promise you this is no easy fairway to navigate. Katrina also with a good drive, uh, got caught up a little bit earlier than the other ladies, but uh, definitely not a bad drive by any means. She's got a hyzer shot to get up over the hill and down going towards the basket. As you can see, she mm -hmm. has out drove the basket, unable to convert for her birdie. Let's see what Katrina can do. Mm. Uh. All these ladies made it down here. I know they all want to convert with that three, but a four on this hole, there's absolutely no shame in that. And down between Cat and Paige. Paige has worked her way up to definitely a good shot from there. Katrina going with a turnover shot as well. She got quite a bit of distance on the woods, but fortunately that was something over stable and it didn't quite make it over. Katrina with a backhand roller trying to make her way up the hill. She does just that. She's going to be walking away with a three on this one. Uh, definitely. As you can see, Katrina does still have uh, quite a long putt. Oh, oh, very good run, but not quite enough. Lisa taps in there, Katrina tapping in for her par, and Paige. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic, on another latitude that can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy, yeah, since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me, I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies, I'm so astonishing, I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.